Good morning, everybody. We were in Logansport this morning doing a great show about how this guy makes Batmobiles. With me now is Kevin Burkett with the Pharaoh's Tribune, which I am proud to be a, a columnist in. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. You, at one point, purchased this museum. You're a hometown boy. Mm -hmm. And as we look at the outside of this, how old is this? Well, the building originally was, was put up in 1897. Wow. Yeah, as yeah. A, uh, a dry goods store, and then uh, it was converted into a movie theater, opened in 1940, and it's been open, you know. It's pretty continuous. Pretty continuous. You tell me. Okay, this is such a, a great venue, and I know you have some things coming up, which we'll talk about in a moment, but I want to point out a couple of things that struck me when we walked mm -hmm. in. Tell me, John showed us the whole building. That, by the way, you didn't even know that, that there were there were live performances, or there was it movies uh, no, you didn't know? No, actually, uh, we didn't even know there was a stage there. Is that right? Um, by yeah. the time I uh, started coming to movies here back in the late 70s, um, this theater had been twinned, so mm -hmm. there were two different cinemas in here and a wall that went oh, up a in multiplex. Front of, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was our first multiplex. Yeah. Um, and so when I was coming to movies here, I had no idea there was even a stage. Tell me about that S. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's our little bar over there. We do uh, uh, beer and wine for most of our shows. And the, the name of the theater had changed for a couple of years mm -hmm. from, the, from the state theater. And when they did that, they, they took the sign down off the front of the theater. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a pretty iconic piece of, of history in downtown. I was living in Philadelphia at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, a friend of mine told me, they were, hey, they're taking the state sign down. I said, well, go around the block and see if they want to sell it. <laughs> so you bought the letters. So, so I bought the state letters for 300 bucks when I was living in Philadelphia, That's thinking great. I'll give these to the Historical Society. And, you, yeah. and then a couple years later, I bought the building that the letters went with. So you have to tell me really quickly in 20 seconds, those lights are really awesome. Tell me what those lights are. Those side lights are original to the theater. Uh, we have a number of, of lights um, out in the front lobby as well, really cool Art Deco style. And from everything that I've learned from talking to uh, preservationists mm -hmm. and, and, and art historians and architectural historians, back in the heyday of the movie studios, they just had ridiculous money to be able to spend on and facilities that, like this. So those are priceless. They brought in people who just made them. And so wow. it's not like you can go to a store and, and purchase a replacement for that. That's probably a unique fixture only to this place. Thank you for the tour, but I have to ask you one last question. Mm -hmm. There's a gentleman sitting in the seat already. You've had a big show coming up. Who is that? Uh, yeah, he's been uh, waiting here for the next show for quite yeah. a while now. Yeah. This is uh, this is one of our good friends, a uh, 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 local great athlete. Great at what? Uh, actually, a, a, an Olympic champion, Dr. Greg Bell. You were an Olympic champion? Yes. What year? 56. Could you do an interview with me and we can play it another day? Glad to. Okay. Well, this is a great treat. We're <laughs> going to talk to Greg Bell at a future show. Stay with us.